Let's check out the new Fifan AM8 dynamic microphone and see if it's actually any good. I will also compare its sound quality against the much more expensive Rode VideoMic NTG to see if this microphone can actually keep up to the professional tools. Also against a phone which has got a very good internal microphone to see if you even need this microphone. On the box here you can see the features this microphone has and even more features here. Ok, let's see what's inside. So inside the box you get your manual where you can see pretty much everything. Then you also got the stand where this microphone will stand. It's a pretty heavy stand and I think it's actually pretty darn good. By the way, I already have tested this microphone for a few days and it's actually a pretty good microphone. So this is what the microphone looks like. Also in the box you do get this uh, cable which is regular USB on one end and the Type-C on the other end. So this is what it looks like. So on the front you can see you got uh, two knobs here, one with which you can adjust the headphone output monitoring basically volume. So you can actually uh, plug in your headphones here and monitor the audio. Obviously you got your Type-C port here and this uh, can also use uh, XLR basically as well. So pretty feature packed microphone actually. And the top you got a gain knob with which you can basically adjust the volume of your like sound recording volume. Also this microphone does have RGB lights if you fancy something like that. Also we can press this basically very lightly to cycle through the various colors here as well. So pretty cool actually. Also we can touch and hold it to turn it off. On the other end of the microphone you do get this mute switch. Again, this is like not a button, if you press it you can't even hear it in the recording and it's very very sensitive. Actually I absolutely hate this uh, mute button here. It's not even a button really, and you don't even need to like press it. If you just get close enough it will basically turn off itself. And actually I have been using this microphone for a few days already and I absolutely hate this feature because uh, oftentimes I don't even realize I have turned it off. This is what it looks like with the stand here. So by the way the stand uh, I think it's too short actually. It needed to be at least 5 centimeters longer or maybe they should have included some kind of small extension rod. Oftentimes I simply place this microphone on the box and then it's at the correct height basically. Also you are able to tilt this microphone just really as you need it. So it goes pretty much all the way around. And you can tighten it with these uh, screws here basically. However I don't think they tighten that well as I have currently at the maximum and it's still kind of loose. On this microphone you also get your uh, muff here which is for plosives and uh, yeah it's uh, quite a thick boy actually. And this is what the capsule itself looks like, not sure if you can see. By the way you need to speak from the uh, top here inside, not from here basically. Overall for the price point I think the build quality is kind of acceptable. Of course Firefine also does have uh, more better build quality microphones, however for this price point and the sound you can get you really can't complain much. Let's get to the audio test and see how this microphone actually sounds. By the way, so far I have been recording this audio on this uh, Google Pixel 6a phone. A quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog while Peter was pickling his peppers in the backyard. A quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog while Peter was pickling his peppers in the backyard. So this is a sound coming from the Fifine AM8 and this is what it sounds. Does it actually sound any better than the phone? A quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog while Peter was pickling his peppers in the backyard. Again from the phone. By the way this Pixel phone has got very good microphone and also I think it does some kind of audio post processing. Again this is simply a phone I'm speaking in where I think the quality from these are actually pretty good. A quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog while Peter was pickling his peppers in the backyard. Again, Fifine AM microphone. A quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog while Peter was pickling his peppers in the backyard. This is sound coming from this Rode VideoMic NTG. By the way, this microphone retails for around $250. Personally, I paid a bit over $100 for this microphone. So the price difference actually is quite, quite huge. So can you see much difference? 
personally I still prefer this microphone, but yeah, the price difference is absolutely huge. A quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog while Peter was pickling his peppers in the backyard. And at the moment I'm speaking roughly maybe 4 or 5 centimeters from it. So I'm moving actually back now around uh, this distance, maybe 15 centimeters. And this is what it sounds basically when I have moved it, uh, maybe 15 centimeters. I think the sound quality and volume drops quite a lot when you move further basically. As you get closer, I'm currently speaking directly in the microphone uh, from maybe uh, like one or two centimeter distance. Basically my lips are almost touching the uh, mouth here on this microphone and this is what it sounds like. Also I think the plosives on this AM8 microphone aren't as good as on my Rode microphone and you can probably hear as I'm very very close to the microphone. A quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog while Peter was pickling his peppers in the backyard. A quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog while Peter was pickling his peppers in the backyard, again from road. So also this road does have advantage when it's actually much louder than this five fine microphone. As you see, I have adjusted the gain pretty much to the maximum here. And I have actually tried to match the volume, but I still think the road will be uh, more uh, like powerful in the sound and also uh, more load basically. And I have decreased the gain on this road microphone actually quite a lot, quite a lot actually. So that's one of the negatives about this uh, microphone that it doesn't really get that load from my experience really. And I, when I'm actually using it with a computer, I have again maxed again additional gain in the computer settings to the maximum level. Whereas for the Rode microphone I'm speaking currently in, uh, the gain is at really like uh, like two thirds on the microphone and also in the settings maybe only at half 50%. And I even get more volume from the Rode microphone. Just another quick comparison against my Pixel phone. So yeah, this is how it sounds. Do you actually think these microphones sound better? Personally, I think the Rode actually sounds uh, 10 times better than this one, and I think that Fifine still also sounds much better than this one, but I don't think it matches the Rode actually. And back to Fifine microphone. Also, this Fifine microphone in this comparison actually has got unfair advantage over the Rode because this is a dynamic microphone. My Rode actually is uh, like a, a condenser microphone. So uh, if you actually uh, keep it up close, this uh, Fifine microphone should actually sound better than the Rode. However, you can see how it actually sounds. Uh, personally, I think you get like more powerful sound from the road. Again, it's more uh, powerful in volume as well, but also you get very, very pleasant sound from this Fifine AM microphone. Uh, one thing where I think the road is much better, however, is plosives. I can pretty much in that road uh, and it won't pick up those. Whereas uh, this one, if I especially got close, very close, I think you can hear the plosives very well. Even if the uh, wind muff basically on this fly fine is even much thicker than on my road. And we are back to the road microphone one last time. So overall, which one do you actually like better? Personally, I really like the pleasant sound of that Fifine microphone and actually it's a very very good sounding microphone. Also keep in mind uh, again that Fifine microphone will perform much better in untreated rooms. For example, my road uh, currently I don't have my room, room pretty much treated at all and this is what it sounds. For this road it's not the perfect condition basically and the sound could be probably better. On the Fifine uh, I think it really shines in conditions like this if your road if your room basically isn't treated uh, for sound recording at all. Overall I think this uh, Fifine microphone actually provides a lot of bang for a buck basically and the sound quality is actually pretty darn good as you probably heard. Again I was recording straight in my camera basically actually in my phone uh, so this works pretty fine with phones as well and I didn't do any post-processing or like a gain adjustments uh, afterwards recording this. So this is like straight out of the microphone with nothing really applied or anything like that.
And we are back to the Fifine microphone. By the way, I purchased this microphone with my own money and no one sent it to me and then didn't ask say anything about it. So compared to other reviewers, I don't really mind roasting it. Uh, as I think other reviewers are saying that this microphone easily matches like uh, 10 times uh, higher priced microphones. However, I don't think that's the case. There are some issues with this microphone. By the way, if you want to support this channel, I do have a link in the description to the microphone if you want to check it out. It's a pretty good deal there as well. So let's cover some of the things that I don't really like about this microphone and no one really discloses when you check out other people's reviews. First, this mute uh, switch or button really is completely ridiculous and it's a complete failure. Really, I turn it off accidentally all the time and I have lost uh, quite a lot of recordings and videos I had to retake basically because I didn't even realize that it has muted itself. So it's kind of ridiculous really. Then again, this stand, again, it's uh, way too short really, again, at least 5 centimeters more are needed to use this microphone properly on the table. Then even though this uh, microphone does have this headphone monitoring jack and you can monitor your audio, I actually tried to do that and compared to other microphones it's actually pretty much unusable and the quality isn't there, you can't really understand much. So that uh, feature is pretty much pointless on this microphone. So yeah, it really needed to be done better or just uh, not included as such as it's not really usable in my experience. Also, this microphone does have quite a lot of handling noise. So basically, if you are near by it, maybe try to touch it while recording, it will pick up actually quite a lot of sound and it's uh, other microphones are much better when it comes to this. However, if it's just sitting on your table and you're not touching anywhere close to it, it's perfectly fine. Then also when I tried to use this microphone with a different cable and actually wanted to plug uh, Type-C on both ends, Type-C on my computer, it didn't actually work it. Also, if I tried to use a converter for this, again to convert to Type-C, but still use the original cable they provided, it still didn't work. So I don't know what is going on with that and it didn't work on the two of my computers basically. So maybe it even works only through this uh, like cable if you use it with a computer. I don't know what's going on really. Also the volume again on this microphone you pretty much have to use it to the maximum gain to get any decent volume out of it. Still I think it's lacking a bit in the volume. Overall for this price around $50 it's pretty much impossible to get anything anything better even from Fifine itself. They do have like uh, other tons of different microphones. They have some of their microphones even have even better build quality than this one but I think the sound quality really isn't there. I think this is one of the best the microphones they have if you actually want a really uh, good sound quality and again it's uh, 50 bucks really so uh, you can't really go wrong. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to subscribe. By the way, in the description I will leave a link where you can actually get this microphone for a very good price actually. So if you want to help out the channel, make sure to check it out. Even if you don't purchase it, it really helps. See you!